business. Uh, you don't have to be rich. Uh, what you do in new media is who you are. Okay, it's what you put out there. Now, I blog, as Jim told you, at theothermccain.com, and I'm also a uh, correspondent for The American Spectator, which is online at spectator.org. And uh, I have been a journalist since 1986. I, I started at a 6,000 circulation weekly paper in Austell, Georgia, and worked for about uh, 10 years, a little more than 10 years, working my way kind of up the food chain of uh, small newspapers in Georgia. And then in 1997, was hired as an assistant national editor for the Washington Times. And I did 10 years at the Washington Times, and there's an old dog roll from World War II, if you're familiar with this. Back in World War II, there were various uh, uh, versions of this uh, small poem, uh, but it always ended the same, as the same basic way. And when I get to heaven, St. Peter, I will tell. Another Marine from Iwo, sir, I've served my time in hell. <laughs> and if I ever write a uh, book about my experiences at the Washington Times, it will be called, I've Served My Time in Hell. Now, uh, so I quit my job in January 2008 because I had a freelance assignment in Uganda. And so, uh, so when I got back from Uganda, I had a job offer that turned out to be not quite the kind of job offer I was looking for. I had already been freelancing for the American Spectator, and so I said, okay, I'll do that, and in the meantime, I'll start a blog. I had already kind of created it out there, and I started just blogging, waiting for my next job to come along. And guess what? My job is my blog now, okay? I mean, I make more money from my blog than I do as a freelance correspondent for the American Spectator. So, so that gives you an idea of where I come from, how I came to this. I came to blogging as a journalist, but back when I was a journalist, I was looking at what the bloggers were doing out there and going, wow, that looks like fun. <laughs> Uh, that just looks like so much fun to be your own boss and do your own thing. And uh, the, 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 the great fun of it, the great glory of it, the money is kind of a different uh, situation. So uh, most bloggers are part-timers. They have, uh, Jimmy here has a full-time day job and manages to squeeze in what he does in new media around that, and a lot of other people do that. One of my slogans is, Journalism is not rocket science, okay? Uh, the professional media establishment wants you to have the idea that what they're doing is something special that you don't know how to do. There is no such... Uh, anything is a skill, okay? A skill can be learned as opposed to a talent, okay? I'm never going to run a 4440, okay? I'm never going to be an Olympic pole vaulter. But writing is a skill, okay? And it is a skill you can learn. And one of the things I like to talk about uh, when I'm uh, telling people how, you know, how do you learn to do something you've never done before, right? What, how, how the way do you do that? I call it the OEI loop, okay? Observation, emulation, innovation. Okay, in other words, observation. Suppose that you want to be a, 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 well, let's just say you want to be a blogger. Okay, what are bloggers doing? You study what they're doing. You observe what they're doing. Okay, then you try to emulate what they're doing, to try to do it, do what they're doing, and, and emulate that, okay, and to imitate it. You know, monkey see, monkey do. And then at some point, you innovate. That is to say that you bring to whatever it is you're learning to do your own unique perspective, your own knowledge, your own skills. And at that point, you're doing something different. You know, it may be 
same in some ways as what other people are doing, but you're trying to move it forward and to do something different than other people are doing. And so I believe that everyone, you know, can do it, it but it, it takes determination and it takes patience, okay? If you want to do it, you're going to get in there, and you can ask uh, Jimmy about this. I'm sure he's going to sing you the blues here in a minute. He's got the hat for it, after all. Uh, but you're, you're going to get out there, and you're going to have what I call the zero hour. That is to say, you're going to be out there, and you have, a, on your blog, you have a sight meter, something that measures the traffic, okay? And you're going to write something that is so brilliant, and you're going to put it out there, and you're going to email it around, and you're going to post it to Facebook, you're going to send it out by Twitter, you're going to, you know, do whatever you have to do to promote it. And then you're going to think, oh man, this one's going to kill. And then you will check your hourly visitors, and it will be zero. <laughs> And at that point, you want to stick your head in the oven and, and, and you know, put a bullet through your brain. And, and you, you have to get through that. You have to just keep plugging away. Rome wasn't built in a day. And if what you're doing, you know, in new media is not working, do something different. The Internet is not yet a fully developed thing. You know, in, uh, when I started blogging, no one had ever heard of Twitter. And, uh, and so it builds and it grows and it becomes different. Trial and error is the way you learn, and most of the time you're going to do some error. So uh, I, I'm told that I've exceeded my five minutes, and so thank you very much, and I uh, will be taking questions after Jimmy tells you everything. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay without the mic right now? Yeah. Good, because I need to get